calling this probability of reaching 50% of max profit. The probability of reaching 50% of max profit. Remember, the default is always manage early. So, you know, if you're at 30% and 40% or 25% or 47%. People write to us, they say, I'm at 45%. Should I wait for 50? If you're asking it's the three, question, three just take days. Your, <laughs> if you're asking the question, just take your profit. Right. Okay. The default is always to take profits. But what are the probabilities of reaching 50% of max profit? Because we had to throw a number out there. So let's throw that one. Let's mm -hmm. go. And we have a lot of, um, a lot of models, a lot of software that built around that 50% number. So what is the probability of profit? I'm, so, I'm sorry. The probability of profit pop is the likelihood of making at least one penny on your option trade. However, many viewers have asked us about the probability of making even more money on their trades and how the tasty mechanics play a role. Today's market measure will go over how management, delta, and different underlines, the different volatility, will affect the overall profits of your trade. Next slide, please. So we looked at a bunch of different underlyings from 2005 to present, 23, I'm sorry, 18 years. Spies, gold, silver, Apple, Google, and Amazon, just a mix. We conducted um, strangles at 45 days to expiration and changed the parameters, meaning we changed the delta and the underlying profiles based on each study. We determined the probability of reaching half of max profit, which is 50% of the initial credit before 21 DTE. We used SPY as the initial benchmark and then compared the other stocks, okay? We're trying to squeeze as much as we can into all of these studies. Sure. Sure. Let's go to the next slide. So the first the first kind of takeaways here. On the left-hand column, you can see the, the SPY strangle, 45 days to expiration, and then you can see the probability of 50% uh, reaching 50% of max profit prior to 21 days to expiration. And um, this is just the mathematical side, all right? So 63%, 52%, 45%, and 26%. We usually live in the area of 16 to 20 deltas. That's why that 50% number prior to 21 days is so important to us. And that's why you want the high IVR to start with because that fits right into our model's range. Right, that's what, you know, we build sure. our models, we build our, we do our research and we optimize our research around, around tasty mechanics. And tasty mechanics are that 16 to 20 deltas and that 50% level. So since you collect significantly more credit for the higher delta strangles, the probability of reaching half max profit is much lower for the higher deltas. Um, but the lower delta strangles have reached half max profit the majority of the time. Let's go to the next slide. That just means to set your expectations fairly. So if you're selling 30, 35 Delta strangles, you're not gonna get to 50% of max profit that quickly. But if you're selling you know, 10, 15, 20 Delta strangles, you're gonna get there in that 50% range, assuming all things you know, work. Got it. The next one we looked at was the number of the day, okay? How many days do you get to that? So, um, because, you know, because we look at number of days from 45 to 21, or just from any, you know, and these are 45 day strangles. So on 10 Delta strangles, on average over 18 years, it took 17 days to get there. In 16 Delta strangles, it took 18 days. In 20 Delta strangles, it took 19 days. So just to put some context around the number of days, 45 days to expiration contracts managed at 21 DT are held for 24 days. When the 30 Delta strangles do reach half a max profit, it tends to be at that point. However, the lower delta strangles reach it, reach it several days before that. So again, it's just another reason for potentially doing a lower delta strangle just to get there faster. Our focus is all on wins. It's not on the amount of money that you win. It's about creating a winning culture. Let's go to the next slide. I understand, we understand there needs to be a balance. But so then we, we're gonna get to a balance here. We're gonna look at the $100 profit goal reached prior so that we're not just making a, a statement like, hey, you know what, I made a penny or I made, you know, whatever, six cents. Hey, what about reaching, this is on a one lot, what about reaching, you know, taking that full dollar out of the trade? So on a 10 delta, you know, 23 days and then 19 days. So why is this different than, than the other situation? Well, because the 
the amount of money that you make on the 10 Delta is so much less that it actually takes more time. And the amount of money that you make on a 30 or 40 Delta is, is significantly more, but just hard to get to the 50% number. So that's why this is a number that we've never shown before, which is actually the inverse of the prior slide. But it gives you some context, again, around why it takes longer on the 10 and 16 deltas to grind out whatever number you're looking for, because it's harder to get to that you know, goal of, let's say, 100 hours or whatever, whatever the number is. I like that he used 100 bucks. I do a lot of that in my option podcast today, so I don't know if every Tuesday and Thursday. Well, when you think about it, okay, Rarely do we put a strangle on where the the target is going to be much less than that. Yes. You know, like like if we sell something for let's say three dollars, our target's not going to be much less than a dollar. If we That's sell something correct. for four dollars, our target's not going to be less than a dollar. If we sell something for two dollars, our target's not going to be really much less than a dollar. So correct. you got to give it like you know our target's not to make three cents. Our target's to make a hundred cents at least. Sure. So, so it's reasonable to put that out there. Plus, you get to see the inverse between 10 and 30, which completely flip-flops it around from, if you went to the slide before this, Beth, just go back one slide. See how it's the exact opposite here? Mm -hmm. When you reach 50% of max profit, it's you know, 17, 18, 19, and 24 in, in ascending order. If you go back one more slide, you can see here, this is descending because this is the probability of 50% um, reaching 50% max profit prior to 21 days. So the lower delta options, you're going to reach it faster. The high delta options, you're not. But then when you flip to the next slide, go back to slide four. Yeah, in this one, this is where this is going to kind of make sense because it compares to slide three, the same the same distribution. But then when you go to slide five, which is the next one, it flips flops everything over because sure. the lowest delta options have less premiums to start with, so it's harder to get to a dollar. So the profit goal is reached 21 before 21 DT for all deltas, meaning early management is still the most useful. It's very important to manage early. All our takeaways are always about managing early. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, so here now, this is the probability of reaching half of max profit prior to 21 days. And this is what we're going to look at with all these other underlines, because people say to us all the time, hey, what about if I, um, you guys always show me spy, but what if I was doing, you know, Apple? And what if I was doing Google? And what if I was doing Amazon? Like, like those are completely different than SPY. Those are NASDAQ stocks. Those have nothing to do with SPY. You know, why are you, why are you showing me SPY? And... The answer is because, as you see right here, there's not that big a difference. I got gotcha. you. Sure. Okay. All right. Well, I think it's important. So yeah. you can see, go back one second, path for one sec. So you can see the number of days held, it's almost the same as well. So like when we say we're using SPY because that's kind of the catch-all and that makes the most sense, it's because it does. It does work that way. Mm -hmm. and, so, and, it all, and it also shows you that the mechanics basically work out for just about everything. It has a nice six six different indices you've got metals in there you've got yeah uh, nasdaq stocks you got the s&p 500 yeah that was my point there's no there's yeah. no difference so yeah. each of these underlines have different volatility profiles all their strangles have roughly a 50 percent um chance of reaching half of max profit prior to 21 days and they are held approximately the same amount of time as well slide number seven so since you collect significantly more credit for higher delta 45 date expiration strangles, the probability of reaching half of max profit before 21 DT is significantly lower. However, the higher delta strangles tend to reach fixed profit goals before 21 days significantly more, more often um, due to the higher initial credit. So that's the offset. That's why we're saying it's not horrible to sell the higher delta strangles it's just those work better in high iv in low iv you want to be a little more careful about the about those high delta strangles as we learned the last couple of days when testing a collection of liquid assets with different volatility profiles we found that they are all roughly the same meaning that you can use the spy to study any of this stuff and they all reached half of max profit prior to 21 days and were held for similar amounts of time so as much as we want to think that there's something kind of different going on, it's pretty much the same stuff.
Tomas, Tomas, good uh, little market measure there by the, by everyone sponsored by the CBOE. But you know what? Look what's going on in the market. Even the S&Ps are down 30, led by uh, NVIDIA down almost $15. Tesla down 10. Uh, Apple down five and a half. ENPH uh, down almost five. Adobe down four and change. AMC up down $2.00. And seventy six cents. That's almost a twenty percent move. Where is that under, stock right now? Under eleven bucks. Oof, we got out last week on that little that they they goosed it up to like thirteen thirteen and a half that one day. I was just like goodbye, never see you again. AMC. So that that number at eleven dollars um, on the was it it was a on 10, a reverse what was it twenty to one was it twenty to one or ten to one it was ten to one. Uh, it was ten to see. one. It was like a dollar ninety or something. Went to nineteen dollars or something. You're right. Yep. Ten to one. Yep. It's now it's trading for a buck ten. That's bankrupt. Yep. Amazing. Yep. Amazing. We're gonna take a quick ninety second break and come back. We got more tasty live after this with Oh Joy, your friend and mine, Mr. Scott Sheridan. Next.